Hello and welcome everyone to the Gold Squadron podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Farmer, and we've got a really great game here. Round four, which I will update right now, <laughs> of the last chance qualifier at um, here at uh, Minnesota for the uh, X-Wing World Championships. I have my co-host here, Nami Lee. How are we doing, Nami? I'm doing pretty good. Looking forward to these two matchups. I think it's Kind of a throwback. Two defenders and a Palpatine. I think that's a very 1.0 reminiscent list. And then we have Josh here who's got three Inquisitors and Jendon. So kind of your old school Empire. We haven't seen a ton of Empire today, at least from what we've seen. And so we've seen a lot of Rebels, Resistance. And so kind of nice to see some Empire and Empire action. We're gonna probably looking forward to a lot of token stacking, a lot of defensive gameplay here. Um, again, these base Inquisitors are going to be really interesting. As we all sure. know, the Force Point, huge, right? Like. Having mods on you at all times, that's awesome. And Absolutely. same thing, being able to 4K all the time, having mods all the time. And so, you know, we'll see who's hyper-modified um, ships take the day, right? Yeah, and, you know, the, the big thing that I want to point out here is that all three of these Inquisitors have sense, but this may be the one squad where sense really isn't that <laughs> useful <laughs> because we all know what the defenders are going to do. Yeah, so I won... Delta Squadron Pilots base just with HLCs yeah. and Palpatine. Yeah. Look, it's going to be three straight 4K. 4K all three day. Three straight 4K And all even day. if they know, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. You know? So I think both of these players are probably, for the easy points, going to be targeting the opposing player's shuttle. Yeah. You know? Like, if, the, if that's what they can do to kind of get, take the easy points, that's what they'll do. And so um, Josh's, um, Josh's shuttle is worth 57 points. Whereas Matt's is 54. And I think the key here is there's a little bit more off there's a little bit offensive tech on each side, right? Yeah. Matt's got HLCs on both of his Correct. ships. The three versus the two ships here is going to be important because, again, we're taking concussion missiles and sense. Again, sense, maybe not too big of a play here. Right. But FCS for sure, right? Absolutely. And so we've got some offensive firepower on each side. It'll be interesting. You know, we talked in our last game, yeah. take what they give you, right? Yes. And it'll be the same thing here. Who slow rolls with their shuttle first? Uh, who, you know, gives up someone first? Uh, does Josh say, hey, I'll give you this 46-point Inquisitor. Right. But if I can get modded shots with my conch missiles onto, you know, or Defender or Palp Shuttle, free points for me, I'm looking to win that trade. Or do both players just opt out and say, I don't have to come to you. Yeah. And... As you guys are choosing your champion, I uh, you just heard Dion say that. Um, we're getting prepped. Uh, obviously, the uh, FFG is keeping to a tight schedule, so dials are getting down. 69 minutes left. Nice. And we've got, I think, I'm, I'm interested to see where the engagements are happening. So these guys here, I'm, they're not going to go straight into this rock, obviously. But I don't know where each player wants things to happen. Matt wants to keep nice, clean lanes so right. that you can 4K as much as possible. Matt really likes – I think this is pretty good for Matt. That's right a really here, good right? spot, like, yeah. If Matt can kind of dance in that space, you've got these three gas clouds versus the three rocks, so that'll be fun to see how that plays. Right. Because, again, Matt doesn't really care about the gas. No. It's almost like if I 4K onto them, good. Sure. You know, like, you know, that type of thing. So, and, and don't forget, um, the – I believe after you do a three or four, five speed maneuver with these defenders, you um, just want to double check something on them. You could still evade if you go over the cloud because all the clouds do is make you skip your perform action step. Right. Um, I could be wrong about that though. I'm sure the chat will tell me if it's wrong. I Dion, right. <laughs> Dion's saying I'm right. So you can still take that evade if you do a 4K over the cl gas cloud. One thing that traditionally defenders have a little bit of an issue with is pumping out offense, which is why I really like the savvy play by Matt to just toss those HLCs on them because defenders can have an issue really punching through, um, uh, you know, something even like these Inquisitors with these three agility. But with that extra die, um, it, it makes a difference if they can get those bullseyes. Yeah, and, and that's really the key is, right? Um, I think what Matt, the idea for Matt is if he can get in 4K and then the Inquisitors have to 4K and then he's right. looking at mods and they aren't, that's that's an engagement he's looking at. Also, the you know the barrier for damage, two points for Matt on each one of these Inquisitors just to get half, right? Sure. If, we, if we're looking into a scrappy game, that's going to matter. Sure. And he's got to, and Josh has to do four, right, mm -hmm. just to get to that same amount. Now, it's a, it'll worth a little bit more, 
right? But he still has to do more damage behind those token stack. Yeah, and you want to look at e the cost of each ship, right? So each one of these inquis so one of these inquisitors has um, is missing fire control system. That's yeah. yellow, but otherwise it's 48, 48, 46, and each of these defenders is 73. So you know you are looking at it's a weird sort of half points sort of situation because if Matt destroys one of these inquisitors, but then you know and loses half a defender, that's still okay, you know. Yeah. If he takes out Jendin and and an Inquisitor loses half a defender and Psy, he's probably okay. Yeah. And I think we or have not a Psy, sorry, the Omicron. Yeah. We have a use of Jendin here, right? Like charge has been flipped. Yes. We're taking target locks here on uh on the the unmarked, the non pink, not number pink. Yeah. Right? <laughs> unmarked for yeah. sure. So I think the target here is pretty clear. At least the threat of it, right? Right. On Josh's side. We have both shuttles lined up across from each other. Granted, they're facing 45s, as they usually are, but it'll be interesting to see if someone peels off, if someone stops. You know, everyone's probably going to stop. I think Josh is just going to gun for the Omicron. Yeah. I think he wants it. I think he's just going to say, I'm going to joust. This is what I'm going to – this is my plan. I'm going to come at this shuttle, and, you know, I, I don't believe – I don't believe in these locks. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying that right now. Well, the split locks is always interesting, right? Yeah. Like, and the, the other thing we didn't talk about, three versus one. Sure. I3 versus I1. It's right. going to make the difference. If you PS kill Defender, that's really tough to come back Absolutely. from. Because Matt's going to have a hard time pumping out the damage, right? Yeah. Once, if you kill a Defender, mm -hmm. then you can just focus on getting half on the shuttle, just taking your time and just kind of like grinding that, right? Right, right. So, yeah, you got to you have to be really cognizant of all times. Yeah. Like, um. The always with defenders, especially now more than ever, is ensuring you get your token stack. You do not want to be left in a situation where you bumped or you made a mistake and you can't get your tokens because they're necessary to keep your very expensive 73-point ships alive. Right, and a lot of people, 3 agility, you always expect some pain on 3 agility, right? Even 4 if you're right. having a gas cloud. But if you leave yourself without mods, we say it every single game it seems yeah. like, but you have to have mods or else you're just... You're letting variants take the wheel yeah. a little bit. You're saying, okay, well, if I blank out, I blank out. And that's yeah. not a position you ever want to be in. Right, exactly. I think you mentioned Matt wants to go after Josh's uh, shuttle. But I think this play here to come around like this, around, is probably they're looking to the same thing. Yeah, right? 100%. He's doing kind of a delayed deployment here, slowing the game down a bit. And he's going to get his Inquisitors in front of his shuttle and – just come in for this joust and try to take it out. And I'm really interested to see if Matt opts in for the joust or if he just decides he, that's not something he wants to be a part of. Listen, if I know Matt, he he loves to joust. Sure. He, he didn't bring these defenders to not joust. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that's fine. And I think he's just going to take whatever. And don't forget about HLC. Just because he has HLC, it doesn't necessarily mean that he needs to, like, if he has the bullseye, he doesn't have to use that bullseye. If, like, if the bullseye is obstructed and, the, like, sorry, I better draw this. Let's say this bullseye was, like, there's a rock here and that's obstructed and the ship, it, uh, sorry, the, sh the, the large base is here. He can still fire four dice using this sight line. Yeah. He just needs to have bullseye to fire HLC. Does that well, make sense? Yeah, it does. Well, I got to tell you, Ryan, I think we're looking at an old-fashioned joust. Yeah, we are. Yeah. The old-fashioned <laughs> old joust. I don't think there's any questioning of where these players want to be right now. No. And I think that Joshua has a really important distinction he needs to make right now, too, having those split locks. I think that um, he needs to decide, okay, am I going to change one of my locks to something else? Am I going to actually just pivot and go with a defender? Um, I'm really curious about that. Well, I think it, he might have a shot on the defender. I don't think so. Not right now, right I don't now, think. Yeah. But... <laughs> When in the other two, if he doesn't have shots now, Matt can just hit the gas, right? He has sure. no problem just going the five straight here. Yeah. And, so, and you see similar movements from both Lambda shuttles, right. right? So both Lambda shuttles just coming out those 45 degree angles. Totally fine. How do I support, you know, that yeah. type of thing. Kind of hang back a little bit. Palp on both sides. It's, you know, it's we haven't seen a palp on palp game in a long time as well. For sure. Highly defensive. Highly defensive, yeah. But it might, it's going to take those, all the secondary weapons, I believe, is going to be the turn. How well do these concussion missiles perform? How well does the heavy laser cannon perform, you know? Everyone <laughs> just jousted. We're just going at it, baby. Well, I'm a little concerned for Josh here because Matt 
can come in so fast. Yeah. And can neutralize basically those concussion missiles, right? I mean, you'll take the range ones. Right. But I think ideally you want to take some shots above. You right. want to take some shots at range and then in range, right? Mm -hmm. Borrowing a couple force. <laughs> So in this next round, do you think that Matt is just going to do the five forwards? I think no he shots. does a three bank. I think he's kind of revealed himself a little. He's going to do a three bank on the defender on pink, on number pink. Three uh, bank to, to the, the right. right. Yeah, I think so. That doesn't put him on the rock? It, no, maybe not. No, I don't think so, yeah. Either I way, I think he wants to take up this space. I think he just does a three forward with number pink. <laughs> and then he just kind of guns it as fast as he can yeah. here and see where he... Well, it depends. If he really wants the shuttle, he can have it. Right? Oh, the quad blank out. Takes oh. an evade. One shield off of pink. Yep. Oh, my God. Crazy. So there it is. pink's yeah. going to take one. I'm actually going to move pink down one. That oh, just comes rough out start. of nowhere, yeah. Rough start. Was that a concussion missile shot? No, it was just a two yeah. dice shot. <laughs> so he'll fire back. Gets three. three in return. Evade force here for Josh. Yes. Is gray. Evade force palp. Oh, yeah. Seems okay. He got the evade, got the force, which he'll get back. Yeah. Really hard to punch through. He needs to he needs three blanks there to do a damage. Oh, that's that's such a bummer on the defense dice there. Because you're thinking two versus four, yeah. back you're into fine. three yeah. versus four. Yeah. Generally, that's a, that's a that that's you, a wash, you would do that all the know? time, right? Like, yeah. Yep. And so one damage again, not the end of the world. Um, well, obviously, it's not something you want to see. Every damage on these defenders is precious because yeah. even half on them is so much. Yeah. Almost as worse as one of these inquisitors. That just is a, that, that's just a feels bad. It does. And now Josh can say, "Hey, maybe I." Smell blood Maybe in the water. Maybe we just take it easy, and we just we're just gonna take <laughs> primaries wherever we can get <laughs> onto pink, right? Right. Yeah. You just you, we go hard into pink. But the good news about the deltas is that the I one is almost an advantage in a lot of ways when you're sending your dials, because with these I ones, you can guarantee you do moves where you're not getting blocked. Yeah. So Matt's not getting blocked, right? No. Like, unless he wants to bump into something, yeah. he shouldn't be bumping. And into what anything. Josh can do is he can use that shuttle and to kind of block the K turns that Matt would do. Kind of use its big booty and just get it in the way. <laughs> God, even Jenden's worth three points more. This will be tough either way. Well, Jenden being worth three points more is kind of advantageous for Matt there because if they trade shuttles, it works out better for yeah, Matt. But right. it's still, you know... Matt needs to squeeze every ounce of firepower. He needs to get all three guns on one of these Inquisitors, I think. Well, some of the hardest parts is, you know, if he doesn't roll paint sometimes and he's doing focus evade yeah. all the time, that can yeah. be a challenge. We saw that in our yeah. last game with Chewbacca where it was like, if they didn't have mods or even if they didn't have target right. lock. So right? I think what you can do here is I think what the OGP can do is roll up with a one bank, coordinate a focus to one of them, right. let them roll up, get the evade, and then lock. So you right. have a focus lock on that first exactly. engage. At least with one of them. Do you do that on pink? I uh, think so, right? Think because you, you want to make sure. Yeah. They, yeah. I think you do it on pink. And you just go aggressive. And, like, if they're shooting at your shuttle, that's fine. Right. And these are nice-looking ships, too. Oh, nice both jobs, players. Yeah. yeah, really good-looking ships all around. <coughs> that's one of my favorite parts about coming to Worlds and being in this room is seeing all the, the love and care people have put into their squads, you know, the custom cards, the custom paint jobs. You know, everyone has come with their A game to this. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one of the underrated aspects of the community is every time you go to Worlds or a big event like this, yeah. you always walk away with stuff. People sure. just hand them out to you like, hey, man, I have this from, you know, this this, this, this is my squadron yeah. back home and stuff like that. You know, do you want to trade or would you like some? It's really cool. Yeah. And there's the, I think it's a four or five. He's just getting, five, yeah. yeah, just getting in their just face. Just getting in the face, yeah, yeah, takes the evade for sure. And then we'll see if he locks or focuses here. He takes the focus, yeah. So the coordinate thing was wrong because the shuttle goes after them, but you could still potentially... You can still get the coordinate here. Oh, wait, no, that's out of order, I think. No, no, they're all I-1s. Oh, oh, he is. Yeah. So I was right. Yeah, you're so fine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Well, if you want to be wrong, you can be no, wrong. No, it's okay. It's boost. Oh, coordinate the boost, power yeah. play. Good move. 
Good move. And then takes the three bank here after really, the boost. Really yeah. strong play. Oh, and now he's got that. I mean, he at worst, he has that shuttle, right? And he's got the 4K wide open, yeah. too. The one on the left is a little suspect, the unmarked one. Sure. Because you might hit the. Oh, the yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, the pink, four, the pink 4K oh, yeah, is totally Oh, yeah, the pink one, four one K, yeah. 4K is online now. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see how Josh approaches this. That's so funny that he has three senses that are just like, <laughs> oh, nope. I guess. No need, sense right? this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see this coming? It's sense tech. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> like the things are happening so fast yeah. that it's like. <laughs> <laughs> really good boost there. I don't think uh, Josh saw that coming. Yeah, he kind of tries to take it slow here. Yeah. I think he misses everyone on this. And then there's no reposition that will no. allow him. No, he could boost forward. Oh, he's, but he's taking a range three, maybe obstructed shot, yeah. if even if he has the 45-degree angle arc, right? Yeah. Well, I think you might consider boosting to the right to open up the hard turn the yeah. next turn. So if you boost this way, next turn you can do a one hard and get yourself – yeah, see? Yeah. yeah. You can get yourself back around at least. Always got to think around ahead if you can. Well, especially if you know you're not going to get shot. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Or and if you're you're not going to mm -hmm. get shot, period. And like he can take a like one shot from the shuttle, right? Yeah. It's fine. All right. Let's see what White is doing. Two straights. It looks like a board here. Yep. And he's gonna that bump is big though. Yeah. Only has a force, and he's going to take a range one shot probably there from the unmarked defender. And then let's see if this is a two straight as well. I think it is, I yeah. think that might be another bump. Yeah. Really good play by Matt here. Maybe Josh wasn't sure if Matt did a five forward, if that would block. Yeah, because yep. there's two ways yeah. to approach this, right? Yeah. Matt could have gone s a little slower. Yeah. Unlikely, but could have. Or he could have just gone yes. quick like that. Yeah. And I think with defenders players, you keep it simple, right? Exactly. You, you make sure keep you get the Keep it simple, advantage. stupid. Yeah. Oh, and now I think this opens and, uh, up the 4K next round. It opens. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I think that's he gets really it, yeah. Cool. Well, you can actually – this is a this is a solvable thing. You can count the base lengths yeah. if they're bumped like that. So a large base is worth two base, uh, two base lengths, and a small base obviously one base length. And then um, for the speed, your 4K is four, – so two, three. So four is greater than three. So more than likely, as long as this is close to flush, that 4K will easily right. clear. Well, I think this is interesting, too, because I think he bumps the inquis his own Inquisitor, which means yes. these two shots are online. Well, we talked about it earlier yeah. in the front. The easiest points you can get yeah. are probably off the yeah. the shuttles, right? Agree. So it'll be interesting to see if he takes both shots on the shuttles or takes one shot at the Inquis. I think you have to, I think you do, you, you take the two, right? Man, I it's really tough. So my gut is telling me I'd love, love, love to take those shots at that, that, that one range, one shot at that Inquisitor there just because he only has a force right but on it but you're absolutely correct you need to take both shots at the yeah. shuttle because then your shuttle can follow up on it the next turn right and if you get a really good hit here with eight dice your shuttle can end up finishing it off next turn potentially yeah let's see let's shoot this inquisitor first looks yeah, like we're going gray to defender yeah now if he does spend the force here for whatever reason right that that might inform yeah, some decision sure. making, right? So three, three natty hits, hits yeah. on. This is our unmarked friend. Yeah. So I think he'll probably spend palp here. Yes, he does. He does. Yep. yep. Spends his evade. Spends palp. palp. That's fine. No damage. Yeah. On a Keeps really the good focus roll. for offense. Yeah. yeah. Keeps the force for defense too. Yeah, the gray inquisitor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think. Uh, Jenden's going to potentially take a shot here. Seeing if he has the shuttle. Oh, no, no. Uh, Orange is seeing if he has the shuttle. I think otherwise no shots there. It'll be close, but I think it's just out yeah, from our I angle. Yeah, I think it's just out, yeah. That's good for Matt. Conserving that damage and probably wouldn't be able to do damage back on the Inquisitor anyway. What's really fun now is he can still do cool coordinate things with his shuttle next turn. Right, yeah. 
This looks like he's taking a range three. Ooh. Two hits. Rolling on fire for Josh. To mess two oh, two evades. Man. What are mods? We need <laughs> need, we need yeah. Neither player, yeah. yeah. And then shuttle onto the hurt. Uh, well, the no, this one's fine. This onto the pink, right? Oh, was he going into pink? Oh, maybe. No, he's going to the one he token stripped. Yeah. So he's going to take one so shield end, yep. off of the other delta, the unmarked one. So now Josh, uh, uh, sorry, Matt, pink into delta. Oh, uh, yeah, this is. Oh! He gets the four. It's very strong play. Who needs mods? <laughs> oh, so I think. Oh, man. I think Josh needs mods there. So all four shields off the shuttle immediately. Yeah. And he's got the second shot yeah, here. Yeah, he does. With focus. Yep. That's Not okay. That's pretty good. Hit, hit, crit. You're going to get that in there. Another blank. He takes hit, hit, crit. Into Jendon. Hit, hit. And then this is a crit. Wounded, Wounded pilot. pilot. So pretty good turn there for Matt, I'd say, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, he's still not done. Still got his shuttle shot, that Inquisitor. He's just going to take the range three. I think that's all he has. Yeah. No big deal. No, one. just one. Probably yep. won't be anything. Let's see if we can get something. One. Yeah, it's fine. No <laughs> one. <laughs> that's oh, nerve-wracking. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what happened to Matt early yeah, on in the first round. I was like, was. well, I guess I will take one. Yeah, so really interesting. So... Matt is able to get, wow, seven damage on Agendon in and traded a shield. And he might finish it off with the with his own shuttle. That's right? what I was saying. Yeah. That like, w Well, he might finish yeah. off with the defenders here, right? right? The 4Ks yeah. online. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the good news is what you can do next round is you can, like, one bank to the left with Jendon to ensure, or with uh, the Omicron, that you can get a shot here. And you focus up, and you let this take the first shot at the shuttle. Yeah. And then if you kill it, then Great. you can use your defenders to follow up on something else. Yeah. Or conversely, you could you can do it any kind of order. Let's say you 4K here, right? And you take an HLC shot here, and then this guy can take a four dice shot at one of these guys. Right. Matt's done a really good job going super fast. Well, it's, it's all about the opening, right? So yeah. Josh kind of got right outside of range three. Right. And then with the defenders, I mean, they're built to go fast anyway. Right. He's just going to rush in and go, okay, I'm just going to go past you. We're going to exchange range one shots. I feel better about my range one mm -hmm. shots than you do. Yeah. Something that we don't always talk about anymore is the kind of the art of the joust because we don't do a lot of head-on jousting as much anymore in X-Wing. It's not something we really talk about a whole ton, but there is a legitimate skill to engaging your opponent, yeah. jumping a range band, going from range four into range one like Matt did. That's not an easy skill, and it takes it does take practice. Like it, Some players can make it look easier, but like if the difference had been, like let's say Josh moved from, like was able to jump from, quote unquote range six into range three yeah. and the first engagement was range three and he got three concussion missiles off into a defender that's much different right, right? well and, and we almost talk about jousting like a like a bad thing right and yeah granted there is a lot of a, a lot of x-wing is just hey let's let's line just head up on. and roll dice Hi, yeah. you know head on and there's nothing wrong with that of course but at the end of the day it's, it's about knowing rule of 11 i remember in 1.0 when i was playing a lot of jousting lists mm -hmm. it took a lot of work to okay okay i want to engage here and yes. how do i do that do I do that head on? Do right. I do that around a corner? Do I do that separately together? All the sort of decision making that you don't see mm -hmm. physically happening on the table, right? You know, manifest into a decision, right? That exactly. has to be correct, or else you just—it it seems like you just don't have an option here, right? And we're talking as if Josh might be out of the game, but he isn't, right? And I have no idea what Matt's saying there. Hi, Nami. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I like, and by no means is Josh out of the game, like at all. Like these. He hasn't done any damage to the Inquisitors. Yeah. Like, we're just saying in terms of that opening engagement working in Matt's favor that it's very much now Josh has to decide maybe I just go all in on his shuttle now. Well, that's the thing. Is like, we so just go shuttle for shuttle. We're looking here, the Inquisitor. Let's just let's just attack the shuttle, right? Yeah. Let, we're in pretty good position to do so. We yeah. can lock if we need to. We can right. do all sorts of things. And he still has his locks on the Deltas, too. So what he can do is um, – or, you know, maybe – it's really interesting what he does because what he could do is he could just bump with his shuttle 
and get a range one shot at them, you know, behind them and try to strip some tokens. Right. And let this guy come in and drop a, con a concussion missile somewhere. He but can do that, or we can we can go here because yeah. you have this line, right? Yeah. So it's it's almost from this angle. It seems to be hard to just go straight. So I think your bank play is correct. Um, but I think you can kind of take a similar approach as the defenders did, right? Let's go straight. Let's fight. You know. Yep. I'm not too. You know, you're not too worried about this. Now they only have four health. That's a problem, right? right. It's two two damage gets you to half, and so you don't want to be doing that. And so that's the sort of decision making, Josh. That's the the things Josh is uh, probably. Yeah pondering is making this so one straight yeah, just okay. a one straight it's fine yeah, it's fine we're good we're good and I'm, I'm wondering if he'll coordinate here if he'll end up coordinating a, uh, a focus or a lock to someone nope oh, reinforce the yep. front great seems play. pretty good yeah so matt kind of senses that as well you yeah know. mitigating the damage as much as possible right and, and so we've got the 4ks <laughs> for both unknowable <laughs> five straight into 4k the defender way <laughs> So maneuverable. Again, the hard thing here is yeah. that, you know, if he's able to kill the shuttle here, the Inquisitors, having the defenders behind them is really not ideal. No, nope, not have at all. A hard, it's not that they have a hard time getting around, but they have a hard time getting around versus a defender. Well, if they are getting around, then they're, they have to K-turn. Right. And they can't K-turn as well as the defenders can K-turn. So he's what Josh will have to do is he'll have to spread them out. Yeah. Which is not ideal with the Inquisitors because once they get spread out, the offensive output plummets mm -hmm. because it's really hard to get your time on target up. Yeah, because you usually want you know spend some time stripping tokens, sure. you know, getting shields down, maybe get a crit in there, things like that. Because that, as the Inquisitor player, you're usually used to having the most you know resilient thing on the yeah. board. Good call here on the one hard. When you played X-Wing as long as I have. <laughs> <laughs> I think it comes across in our commentary which ships we play a lot and which ones we don't, right? <laughs> like that last game, we had no idea what was going on. Purely based on just the calls and the accuracy yeah. of the calls. Like, oh, yeah, he's going to 4K here. First of all, everyone's got that, that right, one down. We're all that good was, on that, that one. That was yeah. not a hard call. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't exactly play the lottery yeah. on that one. <laughs> um, no, I think that... Um, yeah, like the last game we had just all these large bases and like <laughs> slow moving. I had no idea what was happening the whole time. <laughs> this one, I've seen these Inquisitors played a little bit more, and I think it's good that Red Red probably knows he's not super getting shot at. He wants to get out of that HLC just in case. Oh, but maybe put himself inside another one or clear out the way for his shuttle. So it's probably a focus barrel roll there. And he's. it looks like that one has lock on pink. Yes. And so the... the Concussion missiles may not be in play there. Maybe. They can shoot the c those concussions quite a few times, so it's not like something they need to like worry about saving. Yeah, focus. Focus barrel roll. I think he's going to move. Oh, he's going to mark. Yeah, mark for. I was like, you just gray. barrel rolled. Yeah. yeah. Three bank? Yeah. Already trying to like spread himself out. Your rank here. It'll be interesting to see if he takes on the shuttle with the one Inquisitor, because that could be a... Hmm. He could instead switch targets sure. based off this, right? And so he'll just boost Because the here. threat isn't there on his yeah. uh, OGP anymore. Exactly. Right? <laughs> and I wanna s I'm curious to see what Orange did. If he did, like, a two forward, then he'd be able to boost and perhaps split that reinforce. So red's in the, a decent spot, and then we're gonna see what orange is gonna do. I think we're gonna mark red here again for the shuttle, maybe. Coming into those rocks, okay. Following the other inquisitor. Right. Well, we're we gonna might see if have we have the yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see if we have a bump. Definitely clipped the cloud, yeah. so no action. But oh, and then we've got to put the ship down, right? Yeah. So I think he may have bumped. Yeah, so we're going to railroad. We're going to walk it back now. Which Ryan. that actually works out well. We got a special giveaway at the end of this round. <laughs> Dion was just showing me. Very excited about it. 
something he, he dug from the depths of the beyond, the great <laughs> beyond. Are those all prizes? Those boxes? Yeah, the boxes right are just giveaway <laughs> prizes. <laughs> g g not prizes, giveaways. Giveaways, yeah. Giveaways, gifts. It always pays to watch Gold Squadron. It does. Always. <laughs> it's a golden part of Gold Squadron. Yeah, so the, the shuttle's just oh. not moving. <laughs> yeah, the shuttle, yeah, he's literally he's blocked right in. There. And then I think that's what he wanted, though. If he couldn't make that bank, I think he was good staying right there. So here's the three forward. And I don't interested to see. I kind of don't like him getting shot here. Well, the boost left may be the way to go if it fits. It might be tight, though. Yeah, I think he just boosts forward, right? Depends on how gutsy you are yeah. if you think <laughs> that boost left fits or not. I don't think it does, it though. It doesn't look like on our angle. No, it doesn't look like it. So you probably just need to boost forward. and Not even, bro. Not even. Not even, right? Not even. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you do need to boost forward and you don't want to take a range one shot from the shuttle there well you you only do if the other three ships are in are in the right. same position no right? totally but, but i think we, we've shown our hand or so josh has shown his hand and said okay i'm i'm gonna i'm out yeah i don't want any part of this i think he's got a boost if he evade. can get out of oh, it okay evade. Takes the evade, it's fine yeah. force evade an unmodified range yeah. one yeah so no shot range, range one, one. So looking at the range one there, and he's got shots with red back as well. He's going to take the red. Red. He's doing red first. Okay. Yeah. Does he have concussion missiles here? He does. He thinks, yeah. Yeah, so I think he will do concussion probably onto one of these defenders, see if he can get lucky and, and plink another damage through. See if he flips one over. Let's try and decide. You see him counting the damage on the on his Jinden. Yeah. So the I think concussion. This is the, I think this is the yeah concussion shot. Pretty good. So that's red. Ooh. Oh, and just yeah, focuses. Gotta yeah. Gotta spend the focus. Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. So he's shooting that into pink, but so red, one concussion down. And I think we're going to go yellow here or orange. Nothing. Let's Ooh. Mm, yeah, I'd probably just leave it. Leave it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> leave it. I, I think we would leave it. Oh, the palp. Okay. Okay. So take one off yes. of Omicron because reinforced can't stop. And then mitigate everything. Yep. And then I think range one there. One. Has to spend the evade. Yeah, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. Now he's got the token strip, so yeah. that works out okay. Sure does. Now do you shoot with the shuttle here first if you're Matt? Mm. No, I think at this point, I think he I just think you takes shoot, No, you shoot with pink first, in my opinion. Because you've got, I think, an HLC shot on orange So two, I don't know who, I think that may have been black going into, he spent palp there. So one evade, so one damage into Jendon, two left. Oh, he spent the focus. Spent the focus, okay, okay, yeah. So let's see what pink's got. Oh, he's OGB, going, to yeah. yeah, interesting. Range two, looks like. Just one. Blank Range out. Range three, yeah, takes another. One one left on Jendon. I think he has one more shot here on I think pink. he does, too. Takes the range one, yeah. Yeah, you got to. You got to finish it off. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. Yeah. I know he would have liked to fire somewhere else, but... No so problem there. Hit, hit crit. Yeah. Dead. And that so yeah, first first one down is mm -hmm. the is Josh's lambda. Which is what you kind of have to go. It's you can't waste all that yeah. time if you can going after these inquisitors. But now, you've got opportunity. And the other good thing here is that this guy, 
is in a juicy, like, oh, no, I'm pointing this way. And <laughs> his Omicron can be like, yes, be in front of me. <laughs> He's got that. I wonder what he does with the defenders, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if he tries to, s to stay on red or if he just does three straights and just makes sure he gets the evade. There's really no need mm -hmm. for an evade here um, other than the, the threat of, sure. of red. Yeah, right? he could just do twos yeah. right here and just keep them in front of him. And I actually would love to see a hard stop here from this Omicron. I think I would, too. Because maybe you block um, orange. Orange, yeah. yeah. And then you can clear it next round. It's fine. Yeah. Well, now it's a little bit hard because you're a little bit scattered on your arcs, right? Yeah. And so if you want to count this as like an alpha list, when that happens, it becomes difficult because you're only doing a little bit of damage, if sure. any, at a time. Exactly. So I think Matt, straightforward here, right? Mm -hmm. And kind of by his own omission, Matt thinks this list is pretty straightforward, too. It's, it does yeah. what it is exactly what it does. There's the 4K. He literally has only banked one time with the – twice with <laughs> one of them. He's banked twice. And with only one to of get into position to yeah. straight 4K yeah. <laughs> with the other one, right? Yeah. His banks were really just to get back in line to 4K. That being said, this still isn't one of those lists that you can just shut your brain off for. You do need to kind of set these up a little bit. Yeah. Like once you get in the setup, you can just sort of 4K straight for whatever. Right. But it does take a little bit of like, okay, how do I set this up so that I'm in a good spot to do this? I think when I first started playing Defenders, it was so difficult. And, again, it's one of those things where I had mentally tricked myself into thinking 4K. Yeah, three straight 4K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really, I mean, it is that easy, but only, like you said, if you get the prep right. Right. All right, like once you get that down – you're fine. But if you ignore your approach, you ignore your prep, and you put yourself in compromising positions, it doesn't really matter if you sure. 4K, if you take four shots, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what Josh does here. <laughs> this one is in a tough position of either going here, right? Yeah. Or just kind of coming in like that. Going over the This cloud. one kind of in, is in no man's land as well. Yeah. Granted, I think that's why you like the hard stop here. And this guy's stressed. Yep. So this becomes a little bit harder, right? Yeah. It can only be so many places. options. Yeah. yeah. Josh does not have a slew of great places to be. Yeah. Um but one great place to be is on the website uh, curledpodcreatives.com. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, all these tokens were brought to us by curledpodcreatives.com. Um, we have a great streaming setup here, and they've done a great job of supporting us. Um, this is probably the most ambitious stream I've been a part of. And so we, they've got a promo going on this week. World's 2019 promo code for 15% off. 15% off oh. all of your acrylic needs. Big all acrylic. your acrylic needs. I think they have T-shirts, too. I think they they're do. pretty nice. Yeah, They do have T-shirts. They've got metal coins now. They've got metal coins for your board games. And so pretty incredible. Everything you're seeing is Carl Paul Creatives. And so if you like yeah. what you see, go ahead and check it out at CarlPaulCreatives.com. It helps us out when you use our promo code. Absolutely. And this is just three forward defenders doing what they do. Yep. Focus evade, focus evade. That's right. Know. Kind of stick to your guns. You know, it's yeah. It may come off as we're we, you know we're being you know we're looking down on it, but it's really if that's what your strength is. That's but that's what, your what the squad is. does. You do yeah. what the squad does. Exactly. Yeah. And let's not forget that they've got HLC, so they just are making death beams, and it's hard. It's easy necessarily to get away from one. It's not always easy to get away from two. When it makes kind of that conga line, a good block here. Goes for the one hard here. It's going to bump. It's going to move up a little bit. He will clear the stress, though. Going for the ship mark, just to be precise. Yep. I don't think there's any way this fits, but he just wants to make sure. So he's the OGP is going to have a good shot here, right? I mean, OGP unmodded, for sure. but, yeah. but, um, but don't forget, the other thing here is well, Palp, Palp. Palp's off the table for Josh yeah. and still on the table for Matt. Right. So that range one, at least you're getting one of those focuses uh, modified. So that one forward was probably pretty good. So yeah. yellow trying to get Three out of bank. dodge. Yeah, and yeah. kind of like out of the game for a little bit. Um, well, at least that means that you could potentially – it's hard to get away from the defenders, right? Yeah. It's just tough to, like, get away from them. Get away from me. So he's going to try to break off again, but I think – I don't know if he'll be able to reset, right? Yeah. I think the idea is good. It's the way – I think I don't know if you're going to be able to reset. Yeah, he's going for a full reset here on his board. 
Oh, and, oh actually, Talon's here. That's smart. Yeah. You gotta get the guns back around. Yeah. You could probably Talon with Orange next turn. No, not Talon. That's stupid. But at least like hard turn with Orange and get around that cloud next turn. You want you need to make defenders get away from like. That's why I'm really su surprised Josh decided that like you know what this is like, this is fine, like. In my opinion, one of the better places to kind of take on defenders is if you can force them into positions of needing to, like, turn and, yeah. like, chase in different angles. I think the engage would have been interesting. Oh, and we have shots. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So that's... It's going to be Josh. I think that's the range yeah, one range here. Yeah, range one. Uh, yeah. Uh, evaded. No problem. By Matt. Didn't spend any tokens. Josh might have a shot there on the shuttle. He does. Range right. three, unobstructed. That's good. That was good talent there. One yep. into two dice. Seems fine. Easy. <laughs> nice. Easy peasy. And then no other shots. Doesn't look like it, no. So Matt gets his choice of where to go. Palp for two onto Red Inquisitor. Does have a force. Spent the, pa yeah. So two. Oh, yeah, two. No yep. problem there. And then I don't know if he has shots with the other two. It doesn't look like it. So all in all, pretty good defensive round by Josh. Yeah, he, he kind of mitigates it to one, yep. right? Um, kind of banks on the unmodded uh, yep. Lambda. Totally. Okay, yeah. Now, if you're Matt here, do you chase after the Gray Inquisitor? I don't think you chase after Gray. I think you have a good shot at going after Red, actually, because you could um, – Oh, oh, sorry, the cloud's in the yeah, way Yeah, remember, there. this cloud is, like, right yeah, here. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, you could you could go after Gray. It's all – remember we said Josh needed to kind of spread out the rest of his guys. So that's – um that is what he's trying to do, kind of fan them out and get back around. But advantage Matt here because – this is a very this is a situation where it's very possible that only the shuttles get destroyed in the remaining thirty minutes. Yeah, and Matt's shuttle is not close to that point, right? No. So the, again, the onus here: thirty minutes left in the round. Josh has to do yeah. kill at least fifty-seven points. Right. 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 At minimum, and so the OGP is fifty-four. So that's not going to do it. No. Nope. You're going to need half on a defender as well, or full defender, or full defender. That works as well. Um, and you've done one damage to everyone at this point, and so that's okay. But again, the onus is on. Um, Josh to get those points. Right? Yeah, Matt doesn't need to. Matt can kind of take his time if he wants to. Sure. Matt can come up here, boost over, um, you know, maybe start chasing Red around a right. little bit. Any if number he, of things. If he's expecting the one hard here in the roll or whatever, he can just come four and then boost and then whatever he needs. Right? He won't. Pro he probably won't be an arc. He's kind of got all the options here. The right. shuttle can stop. Not a big deal, right? Shuttle can also one straight and not mm -hmm. worry about it. It's effectively a stop. Absolutely. And yeah, with 30 minutes in the round and token yeah. stacking everywhere, it's it's going to be tough, especially if you don't have everything pointed at the shuttle. You I think Matt did a good job. Yeah. yeah, Matt did a good job. He had all the guns on one time yep. or across two rounds and yeah. said, okay, I'm just going to finish this. Just erase something, yeah. yeah. And the more rounds that – the earlier you do that, you kill that shuttle. Um, it's a, it, Back in first edition, you always say kill the shuttle and pal bases first. Right. This isn't pal bases, but like similar to Commonwealth Defenders. You want to get the shuttle off the board to get Palpatine off the board because the longer he's on the table, the more value he's adding. Right. Let's see what we've got here. I think he's just might be staying in place. <laughs> I think they're going oh, we'll to have a time yeah. underneath, yeah. Three bank. Kind of coming after Gray here, yeah. This is a really smart call. Focus evade, no problem, right? Easy peasy. Looks like he avoids the cloud. Doesn't overlap it. Because it's just the crab claw. Yeah. So it's something like... Something like that. Crab claw. Crab claw. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I don't know what the community names are, but I think one's like the crab claw, and one is like the the hollow, the bacon. Is that a the, bacon one? Is that what this one is? This this is the bacon. <laughs> I've heard people call it the pepper. What, what's the other one? What's this one? What's top left? Ice cream. Ice cream what? 
Ice cream cone? That is That's, an ice cream cone. Is that an ice cream cone? I don't believe you. I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> All right, looks like Matt's moving out with his uh, shuttle here. Looks like he's going to clear that. Yeah, I think he will. Shots from behind. That's actually a really good move, too, because it could potentially block um, red for a little longer, too. Look at the exhaust coming from. Look at this. Just That's beautiful, by the way. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> just really coming around there. <laughs> I love our use of color. <laughs> Dion's looking oh over at us like he's just shaking his head. <laughs> Oh, man, look at the – you see, if, if you really know what's going on, the defender's just going to pew, 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 pew. <laughs> the defender lasers are green, right? They are. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Looks like I think we just put a lock down. Oh, he, he coordinated the lock. He so did. the coordinate here sure did. into the lock. And, again, he's yes, he's taking this full forward and saying, okay. 4K, baby. A 4K, yep. Because he's hoping he can block red. Because that guy's in no danger being shot at. Yeah. Surprised he kind of doesn't take a target lock there, right, on red? That is interesting, but... Oh, and red goes around the other way. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Next turn, you can just 4K again. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come back just around. Just come back around. It's fine. I have played games where all I've done is 4K. <laughs> Matt's just looking. Mike <laughs> <laughs> just looks at us. <laughs> you just do it again. <laughs> and so he's got the talent here, actually. He does, yeah. yeah. Stress down. He carries his force with him. This right? is a good opportunity for Matt, though, if he wants to maybe plink damage in a red. But don't forget, red, I believe, has a lock on him. So... I think red spent the lock earlier on the concussion, didn't Night he? Night of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. Because red's the only one that's mm -hmm. used it. Let's see what Gray decides to do. Gray's here. in a tough spot here. Well, the HLC is on line. Yeah. He's, he's got it. He just takes the evade. He's, he knows yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to dodge out of it. Yeah. No. We'll see if this is also a talent. So now it's a one hard over. Mm -hmm. He could boost up though, if he wants. Is he going to get the shot onto uh, number pink? I think he does if he boosts. If he wants to do that, he might just want to like keep it cagey i think you might it's tough he might try to block a 4k <laughs> yeah he could i think that's what this this move does actually i'd have to count base lengths but i'm pretty sure that blocks a 4k yeah the combination of both of them it's tight Two, three. This is the most scientific method. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, very close. From our angle, it, it looks like it gets really close to block, yeah. at least close to comfort, right? I mean, the other thing is, like, if you fail, like, depending on it, sometimes it's not the worst. Yeah. So here we go. He's going to take a concussion. Where is he firing into? Sorry. It looks like red is firing a concussion, yeah. Okay, red firing a concussion. It might be on the pink, though. So I, think no. the, I think they're talking about... Mods. Well, I think they're talking about that lock because he says he might have fired a concussion on the shuttle. Yeah. But maybe not have been a concussion. We know he took a, yeah. So it is yeah. a concussion, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A concussion here. I believe it's on the pink. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. And so he the rolled one. the defense, and so he did the target lock. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Oh, no, yeah. He's, he's, he's he's they're they're doing the re-roll. They're letting him roll again. Yeah. That's tough. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's an, tough. That was honorable. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, so. He's so actually going to spend palp. Yep. Honorable. That's tough. You really needed the two or three damage. Yeah, there. you really yeah. did there. Yeah. And make him spend the token too. All right, range range one it looks like. On to pink. Range two. 
Oh, from yellow. So yellow on the front. Oh, no need it. Oh, that yep. just feels... It feels bad when they don't have mm -hmm. to spend tokens. That's the worst feeling. Range yeah. one, yeah. Gray on the pink here. Just one. one. Rough. Spends the evade. Yeah. It's fine. So that's all the shots, right? This reminds me of defenders. <laughs> 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 For sure. All right, now defender follow-up going forceless. Range two. Yep. No HLC. So just three. Just one. See? Yep. That's where the offense can falter on these <laughs> defenders sometimes. Easy. No problem. <laughs> Don't you wish you could bank those? Uh, yeah, I know. And then uh, the shuttle. shuttle. Takes one shield on red. A touch. Oh, yeah. That's one point from half. It's also so pink onto gray. It's got target lock here. He does, unfortunately. That was a terrible roll. Focus, hit, yep. hit, yeah. He's got evade and a force here, yep. so. No and problem. Spend it yeah, all. No, no problem. Issue. And that's what happens if you only have one shot on these exactly. guys. Exactly. So after all of that, after all of those shots, red only takes one shield. One, one damage a overall. Single, yep. A single damage overall. Now it's going to be fun to see if Pink can make this 4K. <laughs> <laughs> do you just go for it here? I think you do. I think you just go for it. <laughs> Where does the shuttle go here? I think you just two bank with the shuttle. You just keep it, go keep yeah, you it just up, keep right? it going. Well, you know what you could do. What could you do? You could coordinate. You could one bank coordinate, a boost or something? Yeah, coordinate, boost for it. A boost, boost for it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> God, we hate, to f we hate <laughs> this. We hate this game. Why can they boost? Why can they boost? This is I was like, wait a minute. Who designed these ships? I was looking and I was like, what could the shuttle yeah. do? It's like, seems like coordinate. Sure. And then they're like, oh, never a problem. <laughs> yeah, if he, he might be able to one bank, boost forward, and then do the 4K. Or if he thinks 4K fits already, one bank, coordinate the lock. Or the or you know what you do? You coordinate the focus in case the 4K doesn't right. fit. He's still and focused. Yeah. I'm not sure. Again, 20 minutes in, Josh has got to start punching away at things, right? He's yeah. got to start getting it going. Well, that's what he was hoping to do. He had a lot. Of, he had seven, he had three shots on pink. Yeah. And it just didn't mate, like no damage materialized there. It's just unfortunate. You had three opportunities to strip those tokens. You know, at what point does Matt just say five straight? I'm out. Soon, probably. Five straight boost. We don't need to even risk it, right? <laughs> yeah, catch me. Yeah. Well, I think he might just continue plinking because this means LCQ. Yeah. And I don't know, like, he's – he doesn't have to be necessarily that cautious. But if this were, like, a world's, like, cut game, you you might do that, you know? And keep in mind, LCQ, there are roughly 200 players here. Yeah. They are taking 128 yeah. is the official number. Mm -hmm. And Matt's sitting at 2-1. and one. Yeah. So if he gets, he comes out of way with a win here. Yeah. He's feeling pretty good he is. at the yeah. three win mark. Um, yeah. If you're at three three, you have a really good shot at getting yeah. in. Yeah. It'll be real sad for the people that there are some people that go three three and their MLV won't be good enough to get in. Yeah. But well, I wonder if with one twenty eight out of roughly two hundred, is that all three threes? I'd have to do the it's math. It's most. It's I most. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the math, but it's most of them. Yeah. And I, th I think that's interesting development throughout what? the day. One twenty eight. Oh, one twenty eight. Go get in. in. Yeah. Out of like 200 ish, we think. We I think, think it's around 200. I think it was 190 or something. Yeah. Dion's doing some calculus for us. Yeah. It's not calculus. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, the fork. <laughs> <laughs> He's grinning. Never in doubt. He's grinning. <laughs> Never in doubt. <laughs> Matt is not a jerk, but if he was, he could have said, "Do you want to see my dial first? <laughs> I'll let you use sense for free. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you use sense for free if you want to. <laughs> this is one bank here. I played, I played against a defender player once who just played with his dials face up. <laughs> it's very disrespectful. <laughs> is it disrespectful or is it just efficient? <laughs> Let's just move forward. I think he went for the coordinate. He did. And this uh, looks uh, familiar. <laughs> 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 I've never seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> How can we have possibly known? <laughs> 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 oh man. 
Going that was a good call now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was I was disappointed sure. that I even thought about it. I was like, man, he really could, couldn't he? <laughs> I'm disappointed that he didn't didn't make it a focus. Yeah. <laughs> and, and tried to <laughs> fit it without it. I it looked like it would have fit. I think it actually. Would've. I think it would have fit. Yeah, it would have been close. Coward. <laughs> yeah. The r- <laughs> the no, right to 4K. <laughs> the right to 4K will not be in- <laughs> infringed. <laughs> Though I think that um this is better for him anyway because it gives him more space the next round. Yeah. You want to you want these defenders to have as much space as they can. I'm almost proud of Matt because he, at any point in time he could have just boosted one straight, five straight, and then rolled and then just said, "Hey, Bye. I promise you, you're not going to get 57 <laughs> I, points." I assure you, yeah. <laughs> my castle is quite operational. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, where does Red go here? Let's see if Red can get any shots. Actually, oh, no, brutal, he can't. Brutal, yeah, brutal, brutal. He's not arc dodging that. He, the only thing he do is maybe arc dodge a boost to the right and focus might be his best play. Just to get out of it. Get out of range one. Yeah. But then he might still be in HLC. He's in HLC anyway, for yeah. sure, if he boosts. Oh, it's all bad. He's trying to check the arc dodge, but I don't think the barrel roll left gets it. He's shaking his head no. Yeah. Well, Josh knows, right? Yeah, he knows. And that's tough because he's one shield away from half points, Yeah. Right? This thing with these Inquisitors, it's two – the the margin is two damage, yeah. right? So two damage could come from, like, a range three shot yeah. out of nowhere, right? They just <laughs> yeah. see evade. Totally. Yeah. But now he's getting you – know, he's got that four Well, damage. I actually think that's really good because he knows he's going to be in HLC. He yeah. knows he's taking four anyway. Yeah. And either that or he boosts – yeah. Yeah, you don't have the double. Right. One well, – let's see here if we get more. Just we jumping in here for an update. For you guys were you guys were asking about the uh, the numbers here. So we started with 234 players. Okay. 128 are going to make it. Yep. That means that 25 three and threes will not be making it. Oh wow. There's going to be yeah. 72 of them. Yeah. Total and 25 won't make it. Brutal. Oh yeah. FMG so has done a really really good job recently of um, making sure that MOV is less important. Most things are now by wins. Right. Which I really 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 love. But this is going to be one of those unfortunate side situations where your MOV does matter. Yeah. And that also means, like, if you're 3-3, three and three, you have incentive to play 4 now, right? You do. Like you want to yeah. make sure. Or if you're going to lose the or last. You, you mean if you're at 3 wins, you have incentive to continue playing. You have, yeah. you have to keep playing. Yeah. Or if you're losing. Yeah. And if you feel like in your last round with 3 wins, you're yeah. trying to get as many points as you possibly you gotta can You got to keep playing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but it also means you get to 4 wins, you're good. Yeah, if you were to get to 4 oh, wins, yeah. we're all feeling good feeling now. Feeling good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. FFG's killed it with this so far, though. I don't think you, like if you're not here, it's 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 amazing what's going yeah. on. So for those who don't know, we are not at the FFG Game Center, as I think we're getting a concussion missile shot right now. Yeah. Um, let's take a look. Just gonna leave it at one. <coughs> one. Yep. I think that was his only shot. But, yeah, if you're not here, we're not at the FFG Game Center. Right. We're at the Excel Center. Mm-hmm. Been aware of the Minnesota Wild Play in the auditorium there. It's a beautiful space. It's huge. It's we're so going to have almost 1,000 players between Destiny and X-Wing here oh over the gosh. week. It's going to be fabulous. And credit to FFG. Ooh, hit crit coming Ooh, in. here we go. From the shuttle onto, onto red. red. Yeah. Yeah. These pot shots. Oh, he did. Yeah. He stripped a token. Safe. But he strips a token. Strips That's the big. evade. Or he's taking the force. Strips the force. Yeah. yeah. May not be able to use it later, so you use it now. Well, you can't use it offensively, right. so, yeah. Regardless, prize support, everything is incredible so Yeah, far. absolutely. We've gotten to see the uh, the Plo Koon template oh, sets. Amazing. Um, some of the stuff they're doing with, like, yeah. Stormtrooper art. I mean, they do such a great job with this license. Guys. HLC coming in on number pink. Looks good. Focus. So that's three, three on gray. Gray. Ooh. Oh, oh, he has force. He has strip, force evade. Strip all those tokens. Yeah. Strips them all. It's fine. And now here's the big one. Well, I'm wondering if he – does he take he, it? Um, I, well, I think it depends. Does he take the four with a focus onto red against an invade, which is an auto mitigation? Or the three. Or you take I, or you take the three versus – I think you take the four. I think you take the four. You even need one damage, one. right? Because you already only because you already have one damage off of him already. Yeah, that would be what I would do. And I think is what he's doing. He's taking the four. 
Oh, no loss. Yeah, so two? two. Okay. So he's got to roll yeah. one of eight here. No problem. He gets yeah. two. No problem. Just disrespect of eight token. Yeah. No problem, right? Twelve minutes left. Still only fifty-seven yeah. points off. It's just looking tougher every minute that passes by. Is tougher, right? Yeah. Every round you go by and you don't do damage. Three total damage done to Matt Squad, mm -hmm. right? That's always tough. And right now the OGP is a little bit too far away. You just go three That's straight. I you think just you just boogie out, baby. You hit the gas. <laughs> you just you know. hit the gas. <laughs> so now your only recourse is to try and kill a defender in 12 minutes. It seems tough. And you've been using concussion missiles, too. It just hasn't been quite enough, right? Yeah. Three dice, it's, it's a little bit tough because you have the evades. Yeah. So really, two... Right, two, uh, like mitigating two hits, you know, one hit down to two. So we'll see what Josh's approach is here. It's always interesting to see that defenders are not in meta, but they're still so they're annoying. They're incredible. <laughs> they're just so good. It's just you have to, they're only so good until they're not, you know? Yeah. I think they're correctly costed. They pay a premium for that chassis. That's incredible. Yeah. But, I mean, look at how bare bones Matt's squad is. Yeah. But I mean, it's six total cards. Yeah. Right? Just. And the other thing is, we talked about last round, Swiss checks, right? Yeah. Like, we all have an idea of what this meta is going to be. But at the end of the day, you've got two defenders. You have to you have to kill this. Yeah. Right? You have to do some damage. You have to score some points. And it's just another Swiss check for you, right? And at the end of the day, too, like, even more so than that, you are in a situation like I, I feel like I wish I'd given this advice on our podcast uh, um, a few weeks ago. Like we always say practice, practice, practice with things that you, that you like because we can talk about the quote unquote meta all we want. But at the end of the day, you never know what you're going to come up against. I'm walking around the room seeing all kinds of variety. Yeah. So well, at the end of the day, people when people travel and yeah. spend money to come to events like this, they're going to play what they want to play. Yes. Right? And so it's never going to be a perfect cut. I mean, when you get into the cut, maybe, right? Like right. You can get a lot more standardized, what you expect and things like that. Right. You can get a general consensus, but you still have to get through Swiss, right? You still have to get through yeah. double defenders. Someone who's just like, I just like defenders. These are the ships that I have painted. I just want to play them. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And like, or like. That's why we see, I think, a whole lot of Wedge being played, too. It's like, I just like Wedge. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't necessarily have to do a lot to do with his ability, but it's just like he's a cool rebel ship. I like that ship. Yeah. I like flying rebels. I like flying X-Wings. Trench like, run, trench like, run, that like, type of thing. I'm flying resistance tomorrow. I like flying resistance. I like yeah. A-Wings. Yeah. Flying a lot of A-Wings. Like, they're fun. Like, I don't think it's by any means, like, optimal, but it's fun. And I didn't travel all this way to not have fun. Exactly, yeah. It would be silly to go all this yeah. way and go, well, I didn't enjoy it. Well, yeah, I decided I to fly a faction I hate. <laughs> <laughs> it will be interesting throughout the week because um, we will, you'll be yeah. playing and I'll be here throughout sure. the rest of the week to see how much of this spills over, yes. right? Especially to the top tables tomorrow, yeah. on Friday, and then what eventually we start what we see on Saturday. I'm really how much of this really comes over, right? I'm really, really, really curious to see how many, if any, make, like, the top 32 that were in the LCQ. Right. You know? what the, And what those lists look like. Yeah. Like, I don't know what these lists are going to look like. Three forward. Spoke about it at the beginning of the day, but some of this stuff, um, a lot of these players I feel like might get a little bit of an advantage because they're playing six rounds already here, right? Yeah. So it's already people at Worlds. They're kind of getting a feel for the meta. It may not be the perfect meta. Right, it may not be what like everyone's bringing, yeah. but at the end of the day, it's it's still six rounds of X-wing of people who brought lists here who are gonna. A lot of them will play tomorrow. A lot of them will play on Friday. 4K. Same people. Yeah, four K. I think Matt's at it again. Yeah, I'm. I mentioned we did mention this at the start of the day. There is both an inherent risk of playing in the LCQ because you might not make worlds. Yeah. But the the minor advantages are if you don't burn yourself out, and you haven't had, you know, a ton ton of games with your squad, you get. Six reps, right? Six good quality reps in, which could mean the difference in uh, the day two, or yeah. the actual world's event. Now, other we will get lists, so other players will get to see what is sure. here. But it's a lot different than seeing like, oh, defenders, yeah, yeah, I know, and then putting it on the table and going, man, this is, I cannot get damage down, right? right. Well, I can get one damage down at a time. Reinforced. I think we're taking that defensive style with the OGP. Yeah, totally. You do not. And I think fine. Josh is sensing he needs to get points here. Cool. 
Clear turnover, evade, red. Let's see which way he decides to go. One bank, bumps in. Let's see if he ends up on that cloud. I think he's okay. Four K gets the block. And then pink is gonna bump into, uh, and, that, and that's really bad news for Josh. Sure. Because he's gonna bump in to the ships. They're not gonna fire, mm -hmm. right? At this point, you know, it's not. That's not optimal. You want all your ship shooting. You want to be able to get points, right? And if you can't do that, it's it's always tough. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and he's for sure gonna bump here. And looks like we're just getting to the five minute mark. Yeah. It looks like we probably have one shot here, gray onto OGP. Right. And then the backwards reinforce as well. I don't think he has concussion here too, so it's probably just two dice. Yep, one crit, or well, when you use the force, hit crit. And then at least one goes through. Yeah, so one. Yeah. yeah, just one. Right. Unless he wants to use palp. No, he he because oh. it auto it'll auto go through, so he oh, loses yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. So two shields. Two Taking sh the shot back. No problem. It looks like. So he took one shield. Yeah, he took one shield. Okay. Yeah, you're good. So, oh, there will be a shot here from Matt's oh, Defender. Yeah, double crit. Has the evade still. It's range three. Easy. Yeah, it's hard. No problem. Yeah. And so we'll move on. Again, another round where he's just doing one damage at a time. Um, half on the OGP is 27. You're still going to need 30 points off that. Mm -hmm. And Matt, it looks like has another shot. Sorry. This angle is weird. Pink onto uh, orange. Yeah, just one. And then one. One. So no damage there again. And Matt's okay with that. He's, no, he's, he's fine. fine he, yeah. He's going through the motions. He's got the, the yeah, lead at the moment. He's got that dial locked in. Yep. And just don't move it. Yeah, I think uh, the other, I think uh, we, we might know what the, the defender's doing again. Yeah. It will be interesting to see if Pink 4Ks here. I don't think Pink will 4K. <laughs> I think a 3 forward is just fine. And then after that, he could do 4K yeah. if he's still, if he's still good. And you've got this OG, you've got the the gray inquisitor chasing the OGP. Mm -hmm. I think even if you get down to half or even kill it, it just won't be enough time. It won't be enough points. No, totally. Yeah. Anytime you play kind of an alpha esque list, not to say that this list is alpha. It's just so hard when you have to break off like this. And it will be fitting if this game ends with just, you know, the the one Jenden dying and everyone right. else just scrambling right to try to no, define damage. No, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Don't see any reason for Matt not to 4K with his bottom defender. He could probably even turn in with the pink defender, put some pressure on the Inquisitor if he wants to. Right? Doesn't have. He to. could if he wanted. Yeah. I don't think there's any value in each. I think I think he's straight. still pressed just to get try to get half on red just in case, just to get yourself a little further ahead. You could two bank, right? Yeah, and probably. Just, yeah. And yeah, three minutes left. I think this might be the last one. Yeah. At the end of the day, I think Josh is really trying to figure out how he's gonna find where he's gonna find these points. I think he's trying to think if there's any kind of desperation play he can make to do six damage to a defender <laughs> in one round, but it, it it's tough. Is it locked in? <laughs> Never any doubt. No. We 4K, knew. focus evade. Yeah. And you got to think it's going to be the same. It is. 4K, focus evade. Or could take a lock here. If he wants, sure. Yeah. But why risk it, right? You you take the safe option, option always here. 
the end of the game is no time to get cute. Yeah. And he's got three, he's three damage away from the OGP. I think that's so tough to do still. Yeah. He's going to reinforce again, most likely. So Josh, let's see where he's going. He moves the OGP. He goes over the clouds here. Smart. Just get away. Yeah. And he hides behind it, too. Yep. That's the other thing is he'll get to sit behind here. It's he'll like have the mod. It's like a reinforce. Yeah. With an extra die. Yeah, exactly. Three turn here. He's going to go side fin side to side so he doesn't have to. Yeah. He doesn't have to mark the ship. Spin the evade. He takes the evade action. Yeah, just another turn red. It's not going to shoot. And with a minute 30 left, I think this is going to be yeah. it as far as combat goes. And when you look at, um, when you take a look at, um, sorry, I'm losing my words here. Um, if you're Josh looking at the game and trying to learn something from it, obviously you, you want to try to engage all of your guns on one thing at the start of the match, right? And maybe uh, um, he identified that it's more important to go after a defender than the shovel shuttle because of the points difference, 57 right. versus 54. So you're going to take the concussion there. He may be able to get half here on this right. OGP. I just don't. Yeah, there's under a minute after this round of combat, maybe if they speed through it. Sure. I don't think so because you have shots coming. You have two, three shots, four more shots. Right. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he has a shot too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unobstructed it looks like. Spends maybe? Yep. Doesn't. Yeah, and I don't think he has a choice really. Right. It doesn't really matter if Red dies or not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. No, no, no. No tokens needed. Got a range two. Yeah, and any any damage, any points here on the Inquisitor, I think effectively ends it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> two damage. Oh, Josh is taking the shot in. Yeah. Target lock. Force three. All blanks, maybe? Nope. And takes one. Yep. That's time in the round. So this will be the last... Uh, Last turn here. These last shots being fired. Gray into OGP now with concussion. Force for two. OGP takes the two. He's fine. Still so not over quite half. there. Yeah. yeah, not quite there. And Matt's looking for the HLC. Thinks he has it. Yep. One. No problem. And then same thing, range two obstructed. Yeah, I think this one's over. They Animated. Yeah, and that's good to it. Go. To yep. And 57 to zero. Yep, so again, we kind of called it at the beginning. Yep. OGP, uh, first one to go down. Yep. That's or, uh, it. Jenden. Jenden, yeah. Down, that's it. First one, Jenden. So, um, defensive battle the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're well, going to pass it back over to Dion if he's ready. Yeah. Uh, Dion's nodding. He's ready. And uh, he's got some giveaways. He does not have giveaways. He does not have giveaways. He has yet. Yes. So stay tuned stay for tuned more giveaways. for Gold Squadron Podcast. Bye. Yeah.